everyone welcome to k-pop queen for your non-daily reactions to all things k-pop okay right now for y'all i got another drama for y'all to watch this one's an older one Ooh, 2014 Ooh, okay i was a sophomore in college when this came out yeah i was a sophomore wow you know sometimes you'd be looking at time and you're like is that really how you exist god damn anyway sophomore in college um yeah yeah when this dropped um i love this drama i remember watching it i don't think i watched it when it came out i think i just like randomly saw the trailer and something happened in the trailer where i was like okay so where's episode one vicky <laughs> like vicky where's my drama you know like i was ready to go okay this is another puck sojun drama I, I love him but like i didn't realize how many of his dramas i'd seen i think i've actually seen all of them if not all of them most of them so i was a little surprised when i was like oh wait i've definitely like i've seen a lot of his dramas i'm a huge huge fan um this is park so june week i'm doing um this drama and then i'm gonna talk about ito in class in a couple of days when i finish it okay and when y'all finish it as well so that we can chat about that so hold on okay this drama is called a witch's romance or a witch's love that's also the other title for it it stars park so june and um jung hwa if you don't know who she is i don't know like how you been surviving like this whole k-pop thing like she runs this shit she is a mega super star like she was a huge 90s star her tracks were the number one okay she's also dances really well so everyone knows her for her her songs her dance and now she acts as well so it's like she's just like a super super star um her one song that i really loved besides you know i heard her in 90s songs i heard them of course i've seen all the shows but i remember watching ending credit and just loving that track okay her and boa had me looking stupid looking for those royal blue body suits boa was wearing one in one shot two shot um jung ho was wearing one in ending credit and i was like bitch i'm trying to be styling like get me my shit <laughs> right anyway that is the song if you haven't heard it go check it out it's really good choreography by leah kim who we all know and love okay so if her name is attached to a project you know it's gonna be phenomenal um great choreo great song um yeah so she does so she acts now um and she of course she still does her music and stuff as i was just talking about but i think she you know she's like she's a superstar those you know superstars they they she's an entertainer they go and they do everything and they entertain us right so um this is um an older woman, younger man drama. <laughs> okay, listen, one of the tropes that we love to look at in the dramas is age. This one is, it's age appropriate. I mean, at least he's not fucking like, oh, look at the new year. I'm no longer 19, I'm 20. At least it's none of that shit, okay? Homeboy's 25, like, you know what I mean? It's 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 better than some of the shit they have been giving us lately. Let me tell you something. It's in one class. They coming at me with that storyline with her. They they come. I'm not. I will. We will talk about that. We will talk about that in the Ito one class video. For now, we need to focus on this one. And they're not doing that to me in this one. Okay. It is again older woman, younger man drama, but it's like it's the rom. It's a rom com. So it's like it's got a lot of comedy. It's got a lot of romance. It also has some like a little dark shit it's it yeah it has a little bit of dark shit in the drama i'm not gonna lie they really they came for everyone's life they said we put it from everyone's trauma and we gonna put it in this in this drama i have my notes right here i have written so much about this i didn't now again i saw this years ago so i did have to go back and like remind myself you know read through some of the recaps and be like oh my gosh yeah this did happen so i have a lot of notes so excuse me if i'm looking down but I, the one thing I remember the most is the phenomenal song that Spitka did, A Witch's Diary, a true banger, bop, tart, chart topper, topper, yeah, I said that right, chart topper, number one pop track. Now, listen, for the girlies that don't know Spitka, get into them because they are a group that had all the vocals every single one of those little girls was singing okay so when this song came out i was like oh yeah this is everything spica yes like we love it go listen to the song please listen to it and definitely watch this drama you will like it we got a lot of time in our hands ladies and gentlemen so um just take my word watch watch my series okay watch them and, and get some suggestions i'm i, I never let y'all down okay i never lead you astray i let you know what's up and let me tell you what's up with a witch's romance this is um it stars park so june and um jung hwa and it's about dong hwa dong hwa played by park so june he's a 25 year old he has this like company with his best friend it's like an odd job 
company basically they do anything you want for money they like you know do deliveries they, they like carol like they just they, they do a lot of odd jobs you know to like help people out and get money from that um they make it seem like they're really poor but this is the kicker there's always a kicker when it comes to these characters dong ha is like actually fucking rich he comes from money his father is like not only a doctor he's also a director in the hospital dong ha himself was a medical student but dropped out of school after losing his girlfriend in a really tragic accident and um he just blames himself for her death and he blames his father for not being able to save her so he is like just like you know what fuck life you know i don't want anyone's money i'm gonna build it myself i don't want to have anything to do with the hospital medicine all of that so he like he drops off all that and he starts his whole new life where now he's like you know struggling like the rest of us okay and ban Jian is like this 39 year old woman she's mad successful she's a journalist for this celebrity gossip magazine basically dispatch real talk like she gets all the hot gossip she prints about it she writes all the stories she's known by her co-workers as like a witch that's why it's a witch's romance also because she's older which okay <laughs> all right she like is cold-hearted she's really driven she's successful like she's good at her job you know what i mean and in my opinion like real talk i understand why dong has interested like the fuck this woman is like she's stunning she has money she loves her job what's not to love about her the way that they let me tell you something the way that the dramas be playing out these older women like they're like nothing like oh my gosh over over 30 you can't get married you're too old you can't have kids you're too old you can't be happy you're too old like what the fuck like what the fuck <laughs> okay like this bitch got everything don't be jealous like that's all i gotta say right but the reason why she's so like cold-hearted and doesn't like let men into her life is because she got stood up by the altar at the altar by her like college sweetheart like he just never showed up and just left her there so she's like you know what fuck this shit i'm not into it i'm just gonna go into my job and just dive head first into it which honestly i understand like I understand both of these characters like they're two forlorn characters who had major traumatic stuff happen to them they're dealing with it not very well but they're trying to you know and then they meet each other and like you know heal and fall in love like that's all it is you know it's just two people very very lost upset by the things that have happened to them and they're able to find comfort in each other like it's beautiful it's really <laughs> stunning right so um okay so how do they meet in some crazy bullshit sort of way basically um like i was saying donka and his friend they have that odd job company you know whatever and um banjian's co-workers hire the friend to come and like play a prank at her at this company dinner they're like okay friend we're hiring you to pretend to like this woman at our company dinner and then like dump her in front of everyone now it's not a nice prank again i the prank is used too loosely this is just vicious y'all could have just sat there and ate your food you did not have to play with her like this right but they hire the friend to come and like you know do all of this shit to her it's really mean and at the company dinner he like shows up looking nice he's like hello like how are you and she's like okay and like slowly he like gets to her and she's just kind of like okay you know all right cool you know and at the dinner like i don't know they like get up on stage uh, he's like gonna say something nice about her or whatever and he goes in to like kiss her and she's like okay you know i'll kiss you back or whatever and then he stops and like embarrasses her in front of everyone calls her old says i could never do this this was just a joke and everyone starts laughing and obviously she's like super embarrassed because she's like first of all motherfucker i just met you today okay you don't have to do all of this right second of all this is so embarrassing i'm like a head person at work these are my subordinates like what the fuck everybody's laughing at me at dinner god damn right but then dong ha comes in saves the day kisses her in front of everyone and is like you shouldn't treat people like this like do better like we're not about this and then he walks off and like leaves with her and that's how their journey begins can you imagine so dramatic but it's delicious okay like this is the drama this is what we came here for right their chemistry is really good i mean you can tell like they like their chemistry builds that's one of the things that i really love about this drama it's not like just like off the bat like sparks flying like real talk 
like it takes a while for them to like get comfortable with each other they like start they become as friends you know they start as friends and then they're like talking they learn about each other they're like getting to know each other and then that's when like you know romantic interest starts coming in so it really is a relationship based on like friendship sorry if i look so sweaty i just i think my room is too hot i haven't i listen am i leaving my room to eat that's about it am i putting clothes on honestly no i put this cropped up on for y'all okay like i put this wig on for y'all let me tell you this isolation shit this quarantine shit got me in my habits <laughs> lying down for 16 hours watching dramas eating snacks sleeping in between waking up to do it all over again i mean it this is me like this is really me let me talk about some of my favorite scenes again had to do some research had to like you know get the brain churning to figure out what i liked um let's see this okay this scene that really got me into it obviously from the trailer what did i see the hookup scene let me tell you let me tell you son <laughs> let me tell you son okay the the trailer literally shows them like in her in her room like in her apartment and you just kind of see this like moment of chemistry happening between them i'm not gonna tell you but this moment happened and then they just start like making out <laughs> <laughs> and um, they like you know travel all the way to her bedroom and then um he like takes out his wallet from his pants he takes off his shirt like she's about to go down and she's just kind of like welcoming it you know whatever it's like they're into each other in this moment right and then you know because he pulled out his wallet i guess she like sees it somehow i don't know how but she sees how old she is and she flips out she literally pushes him off of her and off of the bed and is like yeah child how old are you what's going on and, she, and he's like i'm 25 and she's like oh literally she's like, oh, i could have given birth to you like i'm 39 years old and he's like okay like he like literally the age doesn't even register for him he's like i mean i'm i'm, I'm 25 like i'm not a kid like you're 39 like <laughs> are we not like what's what's the problem you know and she's like freaking out she's like i can't do this like you're way too young you're a kid she literally starts calling him kid she's like i don't like i just i'm not like i don't like i won't like no like <laughs> i don't think it's in the first episode i'm trying to remember maybe it's in the no maybe it is in the first episode because he saves her from the from the company dinner and then i guess they go back to her place and then that's when they start drinking right that's how it has to be i can't remember y'all just go watch it you talk you hear me talking about it but go watch it if you try to find out what happens okay okay another one of my really favorite scenes um you can tell that like Dongha is very much like falling for this woman and you know that she is as well but she's like used to hiding her like you know emotions and her feelings and she used to be really cold-hearted and she like pushes him away obviously because of the age difference she's like i cannot be with someone that's 14 years younger than me um i got jilted at the you know at the altar like are you sure you're ready for you know like she's just she has a lot of things swimming through her head so she's just kind of like i don't even want to do this i'm gonna stop bef before it even happens but um one of my other favorite scenes is when he confesses to her at this school reunion so basically her mom had been like trying to set her up on these blind dates and like try to get her to bring someone to the to their reunion that for her school because every one of her classmates is already married you know everyone's living life while she's like not married again this whole thing about being old and not married cliche who gives a f like live your life okay like real talk this might be me in the future listen if you really try to get to know me just know that this might be me in the future i i'm 26 years old i'm <laughs> too young to get married and i don't know when i'll be old enough <laughs> i really don't know anyway back to the drama um she like so yeah so she's goes on a bunch of blind dates she she brings one eventually and they're like oh is this your man like y'all getting married you know what's the tea and and he the blind date is like oh she'll be lucky to marry me like this will be really great for her and obviously she, being the person that she is she don't hold her mouth for no one she's quick with her tongue she was like my fucker like shut the fuck like no like no she loses her temper 
and it's like i don't like i like we're not even together i just met him basically like he's a blind date um like I, the, i'm i'm you know i'm not married so what i'm 39 who cares i'm i'm older i have a nasty temper and that's why i don't have a man so fuck all y'all basically is what she says to everyone and they're all looking at her like mm, we knew it <laughs> we knew it right and then swoops in to save the day is none other than dong ha he shows up in a what crisp suit okay walks into like the little garden or the little restaurant where the the thing is and everyone's looking at him like <laughs> who is this right he like walks up to her and everyone is like oh is this another fake boyfriend that you hired and he's like uh no actually i can't even be her boyfriend because i haven't confessed to her yet and everyone's like excuse me and so he starts this whole confession to her in front of all of her classmates and it is stunning he's like basically he's like i don't have anything i'm 14 years younger than you um i can't even get mad when you go on these blind dates because i don't have anything to offer you but i don't care about anything i don't care about this age difference i want you to know that i like you and even if i like you more than you like me that's okay i'm gonna make you fall for me will you accept me that was a paraphrased version you need to see park so give this performance you need to see him give the performance of a lifetime okay it's so stunning and she's like swept away right and so then they hug and everyone cheers because they're like oh my gosh oh my gosh like what's happening right that scene was really good i think i, re I remember we watching it a bajillion times and just being like wow when will i ever <laughs> when will i ever a lot of little moments like that where park sojun's character is kind of like really trying to show how much he likes her and showing her all this affection and being like you can trust me like you're you know we're friends like you can be comfortable around me but also then slowly gradually being like you know i'm definitely into you and i feel like you're into me like let's do this let's explore it like don't push me away sort of thing um there's also um there's another moment but i'm not gonna tell you no i'm not gonna tell you no 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 no. like i said there are a lot of moments in the drama where you see park so june's character really trying to like warm her up and be like you know you can be with me you can trust me and all that sort of stuff and you see her character warm up to him you know she's kind of just like she goes from like being like oh this kid to like okay maybe this is my man you know like you see that whole thing happen and of course there are people that get in the way obviously do you think the his um previous ex his dead girlfriend you know isn't going to be haunting him this whole time you're wrong do you think that that man that stood her up at the altar isn't going to show back up in the picture you're wrong trust me there's a lot of shit and a lot of people getting in the way it's not just the two of them and like her feelings for you know the age gap and stuff a lot of shit gets in the way but don't worry things end up well thank you guys so much for listening to this i really hope you watched the witch's love or witch's romance it is truly 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 one of my favorite dramas i remember loving this and being absolutely obsessed and i think you will as well especially if you're into those rom-com um dramas those are the ones i watch the most so <laughs> you never like i don't know i don't really watch too many other ones um I'm trying to think. I mean, I did watch Kingdom on Netflix, which I really in love, which I really, really, really enjoyed. I love zombie things. I love monster witches things. Like that's really my my thing. So I loved Kingdom, and I'll talk about that, you know, the next next time after E.T. One class. But um, you know, rom coms all the way. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys you got you're doing okay in the quarantine, and you're not going too stir crazy. We're gonna make it. We ain't got a choice, okay? We're gonna be fine. We're gonna do it. All right. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll be back with another video. Uh, you can comment below, do whatever, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>